Hey everybody, I wish you a very, very warm welcome to the Life Therapy course. My introduction, this is going to be a short episode, unlike many of the others. I'm Bart Wolbers from Light Therapy Insiders and I'll be your guide during this course. We are affiliated with some of the companies in this video. We earn a commission if you use a discount code or a discount link that is listed below. We got these critics free of charge, all our opinions are our own and this is not medical advice. So yeah, it's very simple for this episodes explain the basics of what this course is all about and what you're going to get out of it and also yeah show you how to get the most out of the lectures basically or episodes or whatever you want to call them now i've been working with live therapy insiders for a few years before that with uh, alexfergus.com for most of my adult career actually. And before that I was in the university and I did a combination of uh, health science, philosophy, philosophy of science and technology, which were all master degrees. And before that a bachelor's in physical therapy. So that's my background here. Uh, yeah. So let's talk about uh, light therapy science, which is becoming more and more important in the natural health and wellness space and is even evolving into the mainstream medicine. Right now we have almost 10,000 studies on light therapy. So that, yeah, of course, makes it very difficult to comprehend for the average person. So that's what this course is all about, simplifying it for you. And yeah, all of those 10,000 studies, they're basically visible in Vladimir Heiskanen's Excel sheet. I'll link to that below. And that is the basically the main source for my information. Also some Google and some other, um, yeah, searching for scientific articles on Google and some other resources that I'll mention for each uh, episode. And I'll cover all of the important topics on life therapy here, basically, in this course. Everything from waist length, dosing. Uh, light therapy for many different health conditions, gym recovery, dentistry, and much more. Even you ultraviolet light exposure, which is a little bit of a controversial topic. And yeah, it's not just like science. The goal should also using that science to help you use the devices better and select a better device for your goals. Now, why light therapy? A uh, short introduction there. Because many people in the recent years, decades have found out that light is not just for illumination because you see that it's bright around me, but it has, um, it's almost like, not almost, it is like a nutrient for your cells. During the course, we'll go into much detail there. And for the last years or decades, many people were aware of like, yeah, vitamin D, that that has an effect, but in the last five to ten years um i've been in the red light therapy space since 2017. many people also have become aware that reds and near for red light and also other colors like blue green yellow amber etc are uh, important why is that the case and why does it work so well uh, that for that we have to go back to our ancestral background whether you believe in evolution or not whether you believe in but at least you will believe that there were like hunter gatherer societies and for most of the human history, we've basically lived outdoors. It's only li since like the 1900s, actually, that most of the human population with the Industrial Revolution have started moving indoors. And yeah, from then, we've really, really not been getting the light exposure anymore that we had. And today, people live like, depending on the study that you go, 90 to 95% of their time indoors so they get don't get any light exposure on their skin anymore in the, into their eyes etc now i won't like i already said i won't be just focusing on red light therapy but also on some other topics that are that have become really important in the light therapy space uh, blue lights green lights amber lights uv lights and even the circadian rhythm now we're talking about red light therapy but in the science it's actually called uh, photobiomodulation that is the most recent term that has been adopted since a few years uh, so if you search on the Excel sheet that I just mentioned, it is called photobiomodulation. Simply, yeah. Then one more important factor is like the light can be measured in wavelengths. That's maybe an important thing. So uh, yeah, the red light starts around 600 nanometers. Near infrared goes all, all, all the way up to 1350 nanometers. And blue cuts off at uh, between four and 500 more or less, give or take. Not everybody agrees there. 
and below the uh, yeah below that ba basically you have the ultraviolet light. That's a simple introduction. It's not just that people started moving indoors. It's also that the indoor lighting in many cases is horrible because m many of the LEDs they don't emit any infrared anymore. There's no ultraviolet light exposure anymore. There's nearly almost no no red exposure anymore. And yeah, the LEDs that are, are all around us are really blue and green like focused. So yeah, it's a, it's a very toxic combination. Screens also, uh, the telephone that you, smartphone that's me maybe watching or a tablet exposes you to lots of blue lights, and that is like completely different than what your ancestors were exposed to. The red light therapy works through many different mechanisms. I have a specific episode on that. Uh, uh, one of them is called like with a complex term uh, cytochrome C oxidase, and that ma makes that uh, that en uh, entails that one of the steps in the mitochondria for creating energy that works more efficiently, basically, and that in turn increases the energy production in the cell. Also, some other things such as oxidative stress, cell signaling, uh, the expression of the genes, so the, what part of the gene, uh, how, how genes are activated or not. Uh, and as a result, you get in improvements in blood flow, nitric oxide, etc. Anti-inflammatory anti effects. Um, yeah, this will be covered in more, much more detail, but that is like the background of why we're coming to this topic. And also, which explains a little bit why red light therapy is so popular, because it works. We'll be going into why it works and why it seems to be working for so many different things. The benefits are across the board from everything from workout recovery to many different dentistry effects such as injection pain, dental hypersensitivity, jaw pain for instance, the beauty of the skin which I have a very specific episode on because I know that many people are interested in, in that but I will, I will make clear that light therapy doesn't work for everything that's maybe very important to remember here um, yeah some things such as cancer it's a contraindication, meaning that you should be, uh, yeah. I personally don't recommend using it in that case. Although um, there is evidence for using light therapy for the side event, uh, effects of cancer treatments. Uh, one of the other really big topics now is neurodegeneration, brain health, etc. Uh, heart and blood vessel health is slowly coming up. So that, that, that gives you a rough indication of what kind of benefits you can expect. This episode is part of a free course on red light therapy. Click the link in the description below to get access for free to all episodes. These episodes will help you improve your results with red light therapy. And I cover many different topics such as UV light, infections, uh, brain health. And I cover the science, treatment protocols and how to use devices. So sign up below. Now, the course, the structure of the course, like I already said, is like, there are many different topics. Uh, dosing and wavelengths, I would recommend watching those if you watch a few of them. But then you can really basically really pick what, what is important to you and what isn't. So yeah, circadian rhythm, if you're like already very knowledgeable about the topic, you can skip it. We have some organ specific modules. Uh, we have some specific modules on gut health, anxiety, addiction, workout recovery, the safety of the ultraviolet light, because I know that people are very afraid almost of using, that, that is correct word, a certain percentage of the population is very afraid to use ultraviolet light. So I go into the, to the two most common types of skin cancer and most dangerous that you can get from UV exposure and tell you everything that you need to know to lower your risk. Also de different dental applications. And yeah, with all these episodes or lectures, there comes a treatment recommendation and also some device recommendation where applicable. Like I said, uh, I already told a little bit about this, but the goals of this course and the benefits for you is like choosing the right device, having a better understanding of dosing, timing, wavelength selection, I will say, this is not the final answer. Like if I do this course in like five or 10 years, it will be different in my opinion, because the space is developing so quickly. Uh, applying light therapy protocols for different conditions, uh, how to use uh, ultraviolet light, blue light, red light and near infrared safely, optimizing circadian rhythms and some common mistakes that people may make. 
this course, what this course is not, that's equally imp important, is not medical advice. So always consult with your uh, doctor before using that. And it's also not the same as tanning beds, which are usually only UV uh, light uh, focused or infrared saunas, which are geared more towards heat and near infrared above 1350 uh, nanometers. So near infrared it, below 1350, more or less, there are discussions about the exact cutoff point are non-heating and above that is heating. And uh, no improvement, uh, yeah, not focused on improving claims. So no hype here uh, that you're going to improve your skin beauty by uh, reverse your skin aging by 40 years in 10 weeks or something. Not a magic bullet, but a, a tool in the toolbox. So yeah, light therapy is one tool that you have. Exercise is another, movement is another, sleep optimization is another. And I will emphasize that over and over again in this course. So it is a tool to move the needle into the right direction. Yeah, I give you some direction on different devices to use, such as LED panels, lasers. We have some very strong class 3B and 4 lasers, which, which put out a very intense amount of energy and you can damage yourself with that if you don't know what to do. So I won't be focusing much on these because that's more of the for the, for the medical... Um, Audience, handheld devices, wearables such as the Kineon Move Plus or the Endolite. Yeah, targeted expectations. So whether you need like a helmet or a mouth device uh, for the, such as a torch for oral health. And also a little bit about medical versus consumer grades. Yeah, and these are all explained for each of the different goals or health conditions. Uh, but I'll, I will tell you, I will mo I move mostly towards the consumer devices um, because yeah. There's a lot more leeway and there's a lot more harm, uh, less harm that you can do. With a very powerful laser, you can do harm. You need some training uh, with an LED device. Um, if enough, if even if you overdo it big time, it's not like the end of the world for almost everybody. Yeah, you might feel a little bit tired, but that's it. And some real world examples of applications is like using a light therapy for jet lag, uh, with skeddy rhythm, improving sleep quality. Workout recovery, so you get more out of your workouts or can work out more often. Skin rejuvenation, uh, improving mood in winter, um, and the dental health and neurological disease. So uh, almost anything right now. I will say there are some caveats. Not everything is known in this space right now. Uh, even though, despite having tens of studies, this, this the topic is extremely complex and there are no super simple answers. So and anytime anybody offers you a super simple answer or tells you that they know it all and this is the truth and this is the way it's going to stay for years or decades to come um, yeah that is completely incorrect in my opinion but also yeah I hopefully after going through this course you also beca become more aware uh, because I will mention a lot about how strong the effects are on different goals uh, some common misconceptions such as red light therapy has no effect or cannot penetrate deeply enough. Um, some people think it can only penetrate like a few millimeters, for instance, or there's no evidence that light therapy works, uh, which has become less frequent recently, but yeah. Or that you only need sunlight for all the benefits, which I also don't agree with. Uh, yeah, both are great tools and I recommend sunlight and you can see the tan on my skin. But yeah, for the best results, I still think both are very useful. Yeah, then lastly, if you have any questions, I'm very happy to answer them below. I'm very happy to present this course and to lead you through all of the specific topics.